Here we are at South by Southwest where, you know, it's about kind of innovation, showing everything, and right now it's like blockchain, NFT, and now we're here with Algorand. What's, do you guys fully understand this concept, or how long did it take for you guys to like really grasp that idea? Well, I understand it 100% because it can make the current system or systems, the ones that are not empowering the creators or the ones that are not creating a community of people to enjoy creativity, productivity, and more important, experience. We can solve all the problems because now with this technology, we have all the solutions to not just sit around and speculate and talk about it, we can actually do it. So, you know, DMC, along with my two homies, Ron and Jam Master J, we are known for being innovators. You know, we change music, we change fashion, we change culture. Uh, Buster Rhymes says, Run DMC didn't just change music, we changed everything. So here's another opportunity in my 40 years of existence in front of the world to do something to make it better, to include everybody to participate and make all the benefits across the board, financial, creatively, participation, so that not only do we innovate, we cultivate so that we can evolve. And for me, I'm a technologist and a musician and I've been in the blockchain space for 10 years now. This is the architect of modern music. My goal in life is to help artists create sustainable careers on their own terms. I partnered with Algorand because they're a carbon negative blockchain. They've got low transaction fees. You hear about all these NFTs, etc. People don't understand them. What they really do is give the power back to the artists and allow them to create and innovate in ways that aren't just replicating past models. So to partner with D DMC, who's my hero and an innovator of modern music, on this innovative new technology is an absolute dream come true. And collaborations involve a lot of elements that include and involve the people who are coming together, which is not just about the thing they're there for. It's bigger than tech, it's bigger than music, you know, it's bigger than all of us. But what if we bring out and we collaborate and bring together a community of like minds with like visions for a purpose? It's cool to just do something, oh, we're going to do this and get the money. But now what are we doing with it and why? And that's the beautiful. And I love him for being a tech technologist, but he's a musician too. So musician he's double first. trouble. Musician first. Yes, exactly. Technology so, is a tool, sorry. Exactly. And and that I love to work with passionate people. You know what what um Rundy what Steven Tyler did with that microphone in the walk this way video, literally knocked down a wall. I, I've been to South Sudan and then, and what we're doing is global. Right. Or should it be or should I say universal, universal. or galactic? <laughs> so when Steven Tyler knocked down that wall that was sep separating us in Aerosmith, I mean I've been to South Sudan. I've been to Moscow, I've been to Ukraine. It's funny, I played Moscow and the Ukraine and they fighting. So maybe the things that we can do to, can bring people together, create opportunity and bridge the gap. Yes. You said it best when you talk about it's not politics, it's music that is what's yeah, gonna yeah, yeah. solve it. Music succeeds where politics and religion fails. And creativity, invention, um, vision, inspiration, and even because it takes knowledge and it takes science and it takes understanding to create in the first place. The smartest man in the history of our universe is Albert Einstein. He said imagination is more important than knowledge. He didn't say knowledge wasn't necessary, but what he's saying is when you have imagination and you combine that with knowledge, nothing is impossible. So for me, being in the music business all of these years, I've seen the ups and downs, I've seen people come and go. Like even with my hip hop thing, I saw gangster rap, I saw Vanilla Ice, and I saw Hammer. <laughs> I've been through it all, and now I'm here in this new age. So it's, 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 it's my responsibility, being the mighty king of this whole universe, is to do something that is gonna make it okay, correct, fair, and um, 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 universally, um, 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 inspiring for all of us. You have to understand the DNA of blockchain is about giving credit. 
right, and to the people that are do it. The music industry, and I've been involved with it for 30 years at all the levels. I used to manage Carly Simon. I ran the world's largest independent record label. The music industry is built upon a firmament of racism and misogyny. And now's our opportunity to give credit to the true innovators where all of this came from. And that's what we're doing. We're giving artists a seat at the table, and Algorand has put their technology and their money where their mouth is on this. Right, and create, with creativity comes ownership and giving that there back. Is. Yes, there exa is. exactly. This is the, our whole premise for the song that owns itself is we're going to actually give value to the owners, the creators, and not a bunch of intermediaries and rent seekers who have exploited them. And the creation itself, it's the song that owns itself, or it's the show that owns itself, or it's the concert that owns itself. You know what I'm saying? It all, the power all starts with the creators, the creation. And it seems like over the past couple of years, everybody had the power, all the power that was here goes out there. Now it starts here and it ends here, but it's here for everybody to share and participate. And to do that with music, how important is that? Because, you know, people are taking bits and pieces everywhere else, but now to do it with music. M music, well, I mean, music is the kind of the obviously the universal language, and, and art generally is an empathy machine, right? We we don't we don't learn about each other through politics or yelling at each other. We learn about each other when we connect around music. When I was a young kid in Philadelphia and I heard his music, it blew up my mind. I came from a background where people didn't understand what was being talked about. So combining this technology with music more art equals less war, right? This technology is an empathy machine and music is a canary in a coal mine. As music goes, other industries and other technologies follow. So it's very important to lead with music. Change tends to begin with music. Think about hip hop, think about disco, think about punk rock. Punk it's rock, yes sir. All of that yes, were sir. cultural movements. The largest cultural movement of our time started in Hollis with this guy, yeah, right? And in a way, this kind of brings, like, partnering together brings representation. So sure. Sure. Oh, anybody, for anybody can do it. For everybody, exactly. Correct. Everybody can participate. It's open for all to participate. Nobody, always, when I speak at high schools and middle schools, everybody can be included now. And that's the beautiful thing. Now, and, and think about it. Like you said, it all starts with music. We made a song about some sneakers that we loved. And it created a whole new sneaker. They say, because of because Run DMC's Adidas was the start of sneaker culture, but it opened up so many doors and opportunities for all creators. Within a creation, there's a collaboration waiting for everybody to join in and take it to where, take it beyond your wildest dreams. You know what I'm saying? I don't even play basketball. <laughs> And I got a sneaker deal like Jordan. That's, 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 that's where the, that's because the power is there. Now it's to take that power and utilize it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Then, Designers, cameramen, sound, visual, everything can be style, everybody, art. You know what I'm saying? We're in the age of collisions. We're in the age collisions. of getting rid of these kind of verticals that have never really made any sense. Daryl's a graphic artist too, a comic book. I mean, he yeah, so many things. Yes, and yeah. all of this should come together in a way because that's how people's brains works. It's been industries that have said, no, you must follow in these yeah, ways. Yeah, you we can't need to do that. Correct. I hate that word. You can't do it. And what do you mean I can't do it? Now we don't need permission. Right. How excited are you to be performing today now? I'm always excited to do that. I mean, I've been performing in my head since I was telling George earlier. I was performing in my head when I was five and six years old, listening to 70s rock radio, just hoping, man, one day I could be like Mick Jagger and one day I could be like John Fogarty. Hip hop and rock and roll combined, the collaboration allowed me to have all my uh, king of rock dreams come true. It was just a dream, but now, we're an example, and what we're doing with Algorand is example dreams can come true now.